Hey guys, Jason here again, and we have some more big announcements for you this week. So stay tuned. As promised, James Baker's themes are now available for download automatically in the latest beta, and James is already working on adding more of these awesome cinematic video themes, so get excited about those. If you want these in your collection today, all you gotta do is update to the latest beta release, and there's a new option to download platform theme videos under the Tools menu in LaunchBox. Now, if you don't know how to update to the latest beta, there's a link to a video tutorial walking you through that in the description below, so everyone can get access to this stuff right away. What you're looking at here is Critical Sid's brand new Critical Zone theme, and it is by far the most complete theme that we have ever seen. Not to mention, it's just downright gorgeous. There are five different views just for the platforms list, and three of them are meant for the new cinematic theme videos. We've got this beautiful horizontal list view here, which happens to be my favorite part of the entire theme. It's somewhat of a throwback to Emulation Station for me, which I love. We've got this text-based view that will be used for filter types other than platforms, as well as the normal text-based views. And then the same type of view with a clear logo wheel. And then a clear logo wheel with a nice big area for the videos. This one is also a favorite of mine just because it does a great job of featuring the videos. And finally, we have a simple full screen option for the videos, which does a great job if you really just want to focus on the videos for your collection. These views are just incredible, guys. And then if we get into the games views, we have all our standard options here that have all been improved to match the new theme. Sid is also working with us to add even more view options to the games list, so this theme is also going to see even more content here soon. Now, as great as Sid's theme is, there's another theme that's come out recently called Future State from Hexer that we're also loving and also works great with the cinematic video themes. So let me pull that up here. You'll see we have a really attractive logo wheel there on the left, which is obviously my favorite part of this theme, and some favorites and details down below, and finally a nice big area to focus on the new cinematic theme videos. So this is also now one of the best themes to use for those new theme videos. And then, of course, we can get into the games lists, and you have nice full screen game videos with scan lines, which also looks great. So those are the two new themes that we've been so excited to show off for this week. Both themes are available to download from the download section on the LaunchBox forums, and the links to both of these themes are in the description below, as well as a link to a quick tutorial video on how to install the themes if you're not clear on that. We do plan on hopefully including either one or both of these themes with Big Box before the official 7.0 release. As far as progress this past week, obviously we've been focusing on supporting these new themes as well as adding some features that we need for the automatic video downloads. However, we've also been back to working on the built-in PDF reader and the automatic ROM folder parsing features. But we're not going to release those until we're happy with them, so they're still a work in progress. I did, however, add a feature just earlier today that is now available in the latest beta that will allow you to tweak the minimum speed of the wheel. Some folks who are coming from hyperspin were used to more of a snappy approach, so we've added a setting called minimum wheel speed in the view options that'll allow you to speed that up. And finally, we have some even bigger news that I think you guys will be really excited about. Alex Dubois, whom you guys all know as Vlansix on the forums, has started working with us on development. He's been an absolute dream to work with so far. We've been really, really happy and excited to have him working with us. And one of the first things that he's done for us so far is development on the LaunchBox Games database, which obviously was very sorely needed at this point. 
He's fixed the dreaded game's deletion bug, and he's also in the process of adding support for alternate titles, which may even be out by the time you guys watch this video. But he's been incredible to work with, and it's been really great to get some additional development help on the team, so we're all very excited and happy about that. So that is all for this week. Once again, thank you so much, guys, for all the support. And a huge thanks goes out to Critical Sid and Hexer for these awesome new themes. Have a great week, everyone, and I will see you once again in the live stream on Monday morning.